the Thunder, Dragon and Fire Bow will all be built the same way, they each use 4 4-piece four Sappy Jiva and have all been augmented completely for element, I chose to use 2 spread decorations rather than do 1 spread and 1 normal shot jewel, because of my personal playstyle most of your damage will come from spread damage and you can always eat 4 sharpshooter in the canteen to increase your normal arrows damage, but feel free to do 1 and 1 if you so choose. I only used level 2 blight resistance because I plan to add coalescence in my mantles to further increase my element and draw, because the thunder, fire and dragon bow all comes with a single decoration slot I just added an attack decoration, but if you want you can add that last level of blight resistance if you don't plan on using coalescence. Consider this version of the builds very element focused. The water and ice bow builds are going to focus more on the raw damage side. Because of the limitations of each bow, the ice bow has high element but very low raw, and the water bow lacks power coatings, so in order to close the power gap of these two bows with the last elemental bow build, I chose to use 3 piece Safi Jive and 2 piece Brachidios. This gives us the raw we need in the form of Agitator and level 4 Resentment, we lose a spread decoration, but that's only a 1 to 2 damage loss per arrow so it's fine. In order for this build to work you either need to have an Agitator plus 4 decoration to put in place of the plus 4 Resentment, or do what I did and just augment the bow for 1 times Affinity and 2 times Element. You lose some points in evade window and a little element from not running a full Safi set, but the raw damage for these bows in particular is very important. The last bow build, is a build for those who like to play bow, but don't feel like they have the skill, it's a universal build that you can use with any element, you take advantage of the gold Rathian set bonus, divine blessing secret, so we run 2 piece of gold Rathian and 3 piece Safi Jiva. This is probably the best survival bow build you can get without sacrificing too much damage. In order for this build to work, and for you to hit 100% affinity on weak spots you need to augment the weapon for 1 affinity and then 2 times element. You also have to run at least 2 points in critical eye to reach the 50% affinity. The two sets actually work hand in hand, because you'll be taking chip damage with Sappy Jiva as a long ranged player you're more than likely going to cart with just one hit and that's where Divine Blessing comes in, to try and mitigate that damage. What the build lack in damage it makes up for it in survival, and there you guys have it. Those were the builds I was able to come up with to help you be better prepared for a Latrin later today. This goes without saying but since Latrin uses multiple elements far casters are going to be necessary for running back to change out between the elemental bow build depending on the state he's in. But with that I would like to thank you for watching this far, and if the video was able to help you in any way, please feel free to like, comment or even share it greatly helps the channel out. But until next time have fun try not to cart and stay classy my monster hunter fam and remember to hunt with style.